<laughs> Shelby, what are we gonna do? Paint some properties! Pines and Properties is a meetup that was actually started by Shelby Osborne. It is a real estate investors meetup to enjoy community. We want to make something fun, something that was a little bit more vibrant, right? Collaborate with like-minded people and learn stuff. What kind of stuff? Real estate stuff. You started it? Yeah. It's nationwide now? It's nationwide now. And where are we? We're in Wilmington, North Carolina at the beach. Patrick Story with MC Mortgage Group. Tell me about real estate networking. Oh, real estate networking. Well, it's all about pints and properties. Basically, go out and have a couple beers, talk some real estate. We're a bunch of geeks. We love it. How long have you been in real estate? Oh, 20 something years. I'm old, so. And you work a lot with investors. You got me started. Yes, yeah. I love teaching people how to get started because at the end of the day, that's the uh, way to build wealth and leave a legacy. You sound like a, like a salesman right now. You're selling hard. I am selling hard. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> We did the networking. Talk to we the did camera. Speaking. We did. We brought uh, the extra food. We have extra snacks yes. for later. Well, talk to me about growing your public speaking. Growing my public speaking. Well, I was once a caterpillar, and I was scared and nervous to get in front of people. And now today, I started spreading my wings, man. I was a fucking butterfly out there. Okay. Be clear, Pines of Properties really started with Shelby, and it was like three people that showed up. You know, I, I answered the scene maybe on the third Pines of Properties, and even then it was five people showed up. But now, I mean, at, at this event here, there was, I mean, God, maybe 40 people. Yeah. At the ones that we do in Charlotte. And it's not even one that you started, it's something that somebody else started. Exactly. The way that it's kind of like spawned off and made like its yeah, own legs. Yeah, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Like, it's, it's grown a lot, and I'm actually surprised at how much it's grown, but I'm also excited to see where it's going to go next. How do you think you did tonight? <clears throat> I think I did well. I think Mike and I did, both did well. We played to each other's strengths and um, I felt good overall. I like sharing it with him because I know where I'm weak, he's really strong and vice versa. So it feels very comfortable knowing that whatever question is thrown at us, one of us has got it. Are you surprised at all like, that it's grown so much? Pints of properties? I am surprised that it's grown so much. It was never it's this huge vision and, starting out and you didn't really like foster this people like saw the idea and ran with it exactly yeah, yeah all thanks to social media really a lot a lot of thanks to you to be honest with the photos because the high quality images make everything more appealing on the internet and then people are like i want to look that cool yeah what's the value of community in real estate investing world it is everything do you think people underestimate it in the, when they're new Absolutely. I think that they come to meetups just because they don't know what to do, so they figure someone there can tell them what to do. But it's so much more than that. What are we gonna do tomorrow? Uh, this is what we're gonna do tomorrow. Uh, 5.30 at the beach, golden hour, shots, and drone footage. On the road by 7 to go to Fort Bragg, and Mike is going to talk about uh, untapping the VA loan or some shit. Um... <laughs> <laughs> It's called Unlocking the Secrets to Home Ownership. And we're going to be talking to a group of people. Shelby, why do I hate you? Because I'm a morning person. What are we gonna do today? We are gonna drive to Fort Bragg. Actually, we're gonna get bagels. And then we're gonna drive to Fort Bragg and we're gonna talk to some soldier boys about, and girls, about um, houses. What you eat on, Chell? 
bagels, bro. Right? And it's like <laughs> sandwiched <laughs> at five. Six. You know how I know the economy's getting bad? Right. Because my friends are now offering to pay for gas for road trips. All right, Shelby, where are we? Ah, we're at my old battalion building. We're doing a reunion tour today, reunion guys. Reunion tour. And we stopped on Fort Bragg. Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Where we all used to kind of live and work. Yeah, and we're going around and showing each other the old stomping grounds. Yeah. And you're about to see mine. What's it called? It is 2508, uh, 82nd Airborne Division. And this is the Butt Devil. This is the butt devil. This is the butt devil you're about to see, and we are fury from the sky, airborne. We gotta do a little interview. Are you mad? Yes. Why are you mad? Because I want the donut. You want a donut? I've wanted it for like an hour. <laughs> Can I have the donut now? Okay, you're gonna get a donut, but I need to ask you a few questions first. You need to earn it. Okay, you can't pout. <laughs> Shelby, um, was this a weekend a successful Python Properties? Yes. What is... How do you feel about it? you feel good? Dude, I feel really good. Uh, Wilmington has like a really good crew going and the vibe was great and Mike and I felt really good about what we presented. Overall... Success? Success, yep. Uh, Pines and Properties is nationwide? Nationwide. What do you tell somebody who wants to start one? That you should go to www.pintsandproperties.com and you can click start a meetup and we'll send you a checklist. And then what if you are you want to buy real estate and you want to find a local Pines and Properties? Same. <laughs> Do you think that this earns you a donut, this kind of this kind of bad attitude? Yes. Okay, hang on. This is only one. How are you? Backstreet Boys is coming to Charlotte. You wanna go? No. No, I definitely don't.